Jerry Vaharja, as Masha Rure McSorley, or the eternal and glorious King Rure the Great, as I hope to become the inaugural occupant of a legendary Gaelic monarchy fit to rise up and rule over United Ireland for a thousand years. Somebody has been trying to achieve the goal of a strong and unified Ireland quite literally since the time of Brian Baru. But right here and right now, and this generation is probably the first time in the entirety of our history that we actually have a real chance of making it work. But we cannot leave it to the people that we have at the minute. There basically has been school teachers and solicitors who have got snuck into a party, have got all of their so-called strong opinions written out for them to regurgitate in Parliament and pass this off as governance. The problem with the core foundation of the state that enables so many useless people to supposedly serve in governance is the fact that the founding fathers of our state were more focused on what they didn't want and once they made sure that there was no prospect of not getting what they didn't want the vision for what people actually wanted Ireland to become in my view has been reasonably limited right now what we need are real ideas and real plans and real leaders to come forward and make them work but the constitutional setup which we have in place does not place anywhere near enough value on the sovereignty of the individual, rather providing a load of 5 out of 10 professionally average, professionally oppressed, useless people to come together on the basis of collective non-thought, and as such, the country stagnates. The same problems are only ever destined to recreate themselves again and again, generation after generation. The psycho madness, the alcoholism, the emigration, the lack of opportunity, the anti-wealth mentality, the general negativity, the brain drain, the fact that all of our smartest people are scattered over the four corners of the earth while our own country sits and stagnates and we do not have any hope of being able to break even economically without the contribution of foreign investment. There are ways to sort all of this, but in order to upgrade the quality of the country, we have to upgrade the quality of the government. I appreciate that incentivizing government service to the true heavyweights in our country may be a hard sell, but there are ways in which we can do this. If the country was led by winners, then the country would win. The link between the character of the leader and the state of the country is uncontrovertible. It may not be as palpably visible to see for us as we're only ever to destined to end up with the same rubbish here in Ireland. But the British parliamentary system which we have adopted since the foundation of our state has not served the country well. We must scrutinise the sovereignty of the individual and we must make individuals who intend to serve in government focus on the value that they intend to add to their role. The date is debatable. However, the prospect of a border poll and a subsequent yes vote are very distinct prospects and very real probabilities. However, with the current calibre of people that we have at the helm, there is no prospect of having any new Ireland that does not have exactly the same problems as the current one. However, there are measures that we can take to change this. What I personally hope to do is lay out a series of ideas and plans. I will detail the problem, explain how we sort it, and leave it out with you to see what you think. Some of my reforms, under the current framework that we have constitutionally, their execution just would not be possible. However, I will explain how when we reform one aspect of the country, the simultaneous reform that would be required in order to maintain balance within the country during its execution. I know that all aspects of the country are related and 
Changing one thing has a direct impact on a lot of other things. But bear with me and I will explain my full and cohesive plan for how this country would work. The pay for full-time revolutionaries isn't just brilliant, so obviously I am going to continue to pursue my own entertainment and business interests myself personally. However, this is an oath of dedication which I am happy to leave out here. If the prospect at any time of the execution of what I am about to propose proves to be the will of the majority, let me just swear here now before the people of Ireland that if the necessary conditions are met, that the construction of a new and better island is a purpose to which I am prepared to devote my life and serve as Taoiseach August R. Dreen Aheron. Goramila, my hogarth.